Ahead lie much better things than anything we leave behind. The most detrimental aspect is the desire to evade mistakes, for as long as a word remains unspoken, you are its master. Once uttered, you become its slave, and your actions may seem to make a difference. However, the longer we fixate on our misfortunes, the more power they have to harm us. On our deathbed, only two things will bring regret, having been a little loved and a little significant. Traverse through life without concern for others' opinions, and you will break free from the prison of their judgments. Eventually, all things fall into place. Until then, embrace the confusion, find joy in the moments, and understand that everything unfolds for a reason. Solutions to problems often come not from new information, but from organizing the knowledge we've held for a while. Victory lies in knowing when to engage in a fight and when to abstain. True happiness is a blend of good health and a forgetful memory. Aside from our own thoughts, there is nothing absolute in our existence. Possess great power. Refrain from divulging to your friend what your enemy shouldn't know. In retrospect, the years of struggle will eventually appear as the most beautiful. Loneliness doesn't stem from a lack of need, but from caring about who stands beside you. Those aspiring to achieve great deeds must be prepared to endure great suffering. While we naturally prioritize ourselves, we often place greater importance on others' opinions than our own. True contentment arises when you embrace your authentic self without constant comparison or competition. There's no reason to harbor anger towards the world, as it may not even notice. Instead, strive to be the architects of your future rather than mere products of the past. Remember, the only person you are destined to become is the person you choose to be. Avoid those who attempt to belittle your ambitions. Small-minded individuals often engage in such behavior. The truly great individuals inspire you to believe that you too can achieve greatness. Time has the ability to heal what reason cannot. Sharing someone else's secret is betrayal while divulging your own is an act of foolishness. True leadership involves smiling in adversity, drawing strength from distress, and gaining courage through reflection. Focus on conquering yourself rather than the external world. The busier we are, the more intensely we feel the essence of living, becoming more conscious of our existence. Life Kind words may not demand much, yet they can achieve a great deal. Always venture too far, for in doing so, you uncover the truth. Growth and accomplishment require effort, a willingness to experience pain and anxiety. Without these, true progress is unlikely. Nothing of substance is achieved without facing challenges. Adventures may not seem enjoyable while experiencing them, but they often lead to valuable lessons. Knowing precisely who you are may not be necessary. The essence of life and work lies in the continuous journey of becoming someone different from your initial self. The true question about life after death is not whether it exists, but if it does, what problem it truly solves. If you cannot give away something you own, then it doesn't belong to you. It possesses you. Your fears guide you to your tasks. To grasp the art of living, embrace one key phrase. Make use of suffering. A person devoid of an inner life becomes enslaved to their surroundings. The path to understanding the art of living lies in utilizing the experiences of suffering. In dealing with your surroundings, break down each difficulty into as many parts as necessary to resolve it effectively. Holding on to the past equates to a form of death. To move forward is to truly live. 
A true friend is someone who privately points out your faults. No human heart possesses an evil tendency so potent that it cannot be subdued by discipline. Life should never be discarded while it holds value. Unexpressed emotions do not perish. Instead, they are buried alive and resurface later in more unpleasant forms. Embrace aging as a privilege denied to many. To perceive the world differently, be open to changing your belief system, letting go of the past, expanding your sense of the present, and dispelling fear from your mind. Being wronged holds little significance unless you choose to dwell on it. In choosing revenge, one becomes equal to their enemy, but in forgiveness, one rises above. Amid chaos lies opportunity, and a wise person creates more opportunities than they stumble upon. Recognize that power over your mind resides within, not externally. Understand this, and you will discover true control. Control. If you find yourself depressed, you are dwelling in the past. If anxious, you are fixated on the future. True peace comes from living in the present. Being authentic in a world that constantly seeks to mold you into something else is the greatest accomplishment. In the darkness, the stars become visible. Similarly, in challenging times, opportunities can emerge. Our choices define us, and health often requires doing what you may not want. Life is lived only in the present. Everything else is either past or unknown. Obstacles in the way of action can become the path itself. The best revenge is to rise above the harm done to you. Free your mind from being a slave to selfish impulses mistrust of the future, and resistance to fate. True friends inspire confidence in their help, respond to criticism with achievements. From the perspective of youth, life is an endless future. From old age, a short past. Intelligent individuals conceal their weaknesses, sources of wisdom, and true aspirations. Losing one blessing may make room for another unexpectedly. Embrace depression like a visitor. Listen to what it has to say and seek improvement. To better the world, improve yourself. Blaming nature and fate is common, but one's fate is often an echo of character, passion, mistakes, and weaknesses. Life is a series of decisions shaping the future. Money is a useful servant, but a harmful master. Those who talk much often know little, while those who know much speak sparingly. Always face your fears and do what you are afraid to do. Avoid getting worked up over things beyond your control. Things never unfold the same way twice. Unrestrained anger can be more damaging than the injury it stems from. True happiness lies in ceasing to worry about things beyond our control. Pleasure True conquest of the world begins with conquering oneself. Exercise caution in forming overly favorable opinions about someone upon initial acquaintance, as disappointment often follows. A person who has not faced the inferno of their passions has not truly overcome them. Happiness is unique in that it doubles when shared. Placing too much value on others' opinions bestows them with undue honor. When suspicion arises, pretending to believe a potential liar may unveil the truth. Prayers may not change the world directly, but they transform individuals, and changed individuals can change the world. Happiness is found in having something to do, someone to love, and something to hope for. If you truly love something, let it go. If it returns, it was meant to be. Providing everything a person desires may not satisfy them entirely. True richness lies not in possessions, but in one's ability to do without. 
The most spiritual individuals often endure the most painful tragedies, yet they honor life for providing them with profound challenges. Young people often misjudge their level of happiness. An evil person cannot find happiness in solitude. They remain alone with their villainous thoughts. Many are unaware of their own happiness, while others know they are unhappy. The kinder a person is, the less they notice the flaws in others. Time passes slowly for the future, swiftly for the present, and stands still for the past. The wise seek solitude to avoid the commotion created by fools. Sacrificing health for any other pleasure is considered the greatest folly. True understanding and conquest of the world begin with mastering oneself. Risk True happiness is found when a person can be themselves, especially when alone. If one does not cherish solitude, they cannot truly love freedom, for it is in solitude that true freedom is experienced. Being honest with oneself is a valuable exercise. We are most vulnerable to suffering when we love deeply. The virtuous find contentment in dreams, while the wicked act out their desires in reality. Love flourishes where one can display vulnerability without provoking strength. To be happy is to be self-aware without fear, especially for those without hope. Smart individuals learn from everything and everyone, while average individuals learn primarily from their experiences. Circumstances don't define a person. They merely reveal the true self. Chasing happiness externally is futile. It resides within. The right question often holds more significance than the right answer. Each moment and experience shape a person differently. One can never step in the same river twice, for the river changes and so does the person. Confident individuals avoid idle gossip and petty conflicts, choosing understanding and harmony instead. Boastful speeches reveal weakness, as those capable of great things keep silent. Maintain an untroubled spirit and face the realities of life. Like a gem polished by friction, a person is perfected through trials. Confident individuals avoid idle gossip and petty conflicts, choosing understanding and harmony instead. Boastful speeches reveal weakness, as those capable of great things keep silent. Maintain an untroubled spirit and face the realities of life. Like a gem polished by friction, a person is perfected through trials. Stop. Embrace difficulties for they strengthen the mind just as labor does the body. Remember that everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact, and everything we see is a perspective, not the absolute truth. Don't deem something impossible just because it seems difficult for you. Others may accomplish it. Contemplate life as if you were already dead. Live the remaining part properly. Your own soul can be the most tranquil retreat. Honest individuals are less suspicious of others' dishonesty. A low soul often assumes the lowest motives for noble deeds. Before finding fault with someone, question which of your faults closely resembles the one you're about to criticize. Let go of your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. Understand that time, words, and opportunities never return. Hence, use them wisely. A healthy person desires many things, while a sick person only wants one. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. It matters not how slowly you progress. What matters is that you persist without stopping. Face challenges with resilience knowing that they contribute to the strengthening of your mind and character. Honest. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, that, in itself, is a mistake. Rather than attacking the evil in others, 
confront the evil within yourself. Silence is a loyal friend that never betrays. The superior person seeks fulfillment within themselves, while the small person seeks it in others. Deep love provides strength, while loving deeply grants courage. Life is a sequence of natural changes. Resisting them only leads to sorrow. Allow reality to unfold naturally, responding intelligently even to unintelligent treatment. Act without expectation and never prioritize someone who considers you an option. Speaking the truth eliminates the need to remember anything. Embrace the habit of doing something you don't want to do daily, as it is the golden rule for performing duties without pain. Share the truth only with those worthy of it. In life, all you need is ignorance and confidence for assured success. From love arises hatred for things contrary to our joys. The harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. We value what is obtained with difficulty, as it is dearness that gives everything its true worth. Admire the person who can smile in trouble, gather strength from distress, and dare to offend when honesty requires it. End each day without lingering on blunders or absurdities. Tomorrow is a new day. The purpose of life extends beyond personal happiness. It is about being useful, honorable, compassionate, and making a lasting difference. Dare to live the life you've dreamed, moving forward to make those dreams a reality. While action may not always bring happiness, there is no happiness without action. The art of wisdom lies in knowing what to overlook. One of the greatest discoveries is that a person can alter their life by changing their attitude. Do not fear life. Believe that it is worth living, and your belief will shape the reality. Spend your life on something that will outlast it. Our perspective is shaped by our decisions in the face of darkness. Only light can drive out darkness, and only love can dispel hate. In the end, we remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Those who are not actively seeking happiness are often the ones most likely to find it. The true path to happiness lies in seeking it for others. To be a real seeker of truth, doubt is necessary at least once in a lifetime. Freedom lies in what we do with what is done to us. Time is always a challenge. Three is either too late or too early for anything you want to do. Every word and every silence carries consequences, shaping the course of our lives. Trying Those who are deliberate in making promises often prove to be the most faithful in fulfilling them. Although man was born free, he finds himself everywhere in chains. Those who consider themselves masters of others are often the greater slaves. Judging a person by their questions rather than their answers reveals their depth. Life is akin to a shipwreck, yet it is crucial to remember to sing in the lifeboats. Cherish those who seek the truth, but be cautious of those who claim to have found it. True knowledge of life comes to those who understand how to be content with simplicity. The pursuit of happiness is elusive. It is found not in constant searching, but in freeing oneself from the constraints of an unfree world. To be happy, one must not be overly concerned with others. In order to comprehend the world, it is essential to turn away from it occasionally. People rush to judgment to avoid being judged themselves. You can never experience everything, so grant poetic justice to your soul and simply experience yourself. Without work, life decays. But when work lacks purpose, life withers and dies. 
Starting with uncertainties leads to eventual certainties, while starting with certainties often ends in doubts. Hope is uplifting, but relying on it solely can lead to disappointment. For light to shine brightly, darkness must be present. Loving without wisdom is impossible. The loss incurred by not trying far outweighs the loss from not succeeding. We are like chameleons, taking our hue and moral character from those around us. No one's knowledge can surpass their experience. What worries you masters you. The most precious possession is power over oneself. Bad men need only the inaction of good men to achieve their ends. Seek happiness by limiting desires rather than endlessly attempting to satisfy them. True happiness lies in the ability to enjoy the present without anxious dependence on the future. Life is short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. A well-lived life, however, is long enough. Suffering before it is necessary is excessive. All cruelty stems from weakness. Often, we are more frightened than hurt, and our suffering is often a product of imagination rather than reality. Falling in love can happen when our imagination projects non-existent perfection onto another person. As the fantasy fades, so does love. The first step toward true understanding is self-awareness. A man who knows himself can step outside himself and observe his own reactions like an observer. Never complain about things within your power to change. Problems worthy of attacks prove their worth by hitting back. To suit one's temper to circumstances is excellence. Life's anxieties melt away when the mind is focused on the present. Cherish the power to shape oneself, rather than being molded by external influences. Accepted. Only the person who attempts the absurd is capable of achieving the impossible. Dealing with one's own soul is often more challenging than anything else, as it can be both a helpful ally and a formidable opponent. Women desire love not for their external qualities, but for being authentically themselves. Time is but the space between memories, and when we cease to perceive this space, time disappears. Love ceases to be a demon only when it ceases to be a god. Sharing our weaknesses and difficulties is often more nourishing to others than boasting about our qualities and successes. Many are skilled at talking about what they do, yet do little. It's those who quietly accomplish much that truly enrich a community. When we genuinely love and respect people, acknowledging their value, they can begin to emerge from behind the walls that protect them. People struggle to accept their own flaws unless they simultaneously feel loved, respected, and accepted by others. If the path before you is clear, you're probably on someone else's journey. Everything that irritates us about others can lead to a deeper understanding of ourselves. Thinking is difficult, which is why many people resort to judging. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness. Happiness gains its meaning through the balance with sadness. Difficulties are necessary for human health. Loneliness doesn't necessarily come from lack of people around. It often arises from an inability to communicate important thoughts or holding views that others find unacceptable. Life truly begins at 40. Until then, you are conducting research. The greatest problems of life are fundamentally insoluble. They cannot be solved but only outgrown. Enduring the hardest trials becomes possible when one finds meaning in them. The challenge lies in creating that meaning. Don't cling to anyone who's leaving, as doing so may prevent you from meeting the one who's coming. Doubt isn't the opposite of faith. It's an element of faith. 
The first duty of love is to listen. The courage to be is the courage to accept oneself, even when feeling unacceptable. Health is a blessing that far outweighs all others in life. A truly healthy beggar can be happier than a sick king. Hope, in reality, is considered the worst of all evils as it prolongs the torments of man. No one can construct the bridge for you to cross the stream of life. That responsibility falls on yourself alone. Willpower is to the mind what a strong blind man is to a lame man who can see, carrying him on his shoulders. Sleep is the interest paid on the capital called in at death, and the more regularly and at a higher rate it is paid, the further the date of redemption is postponed. Steal your sensibilities to minimize the hurt in life. Spend your time improving yourself by delving into the writings of others, gaining easily what they have labored hard for. Be cautious about the company you keep as it is human to imitate the habits of those you interact with, inadvertently adopting their interests, opinions, values, and ways of interpreting events. In old age, many regret not having conquered laziness earlier in life. When we engage in trivial conversation, we diminish ourselves, as our attention becomes consumed by trivialities. You become what you give your attention to. Thus, avoid indulging in insignificant matters. In moments of anger, refrain from both speech and action. The bravest sight is witnessing a great person grappling with adversity. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. By confining yourself to the present, you shape the quality of your mind for your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. Avoid dreaming of what you do not possess. Instead, recognize and appreciate the blessings you currently have. Sometimes, yielding is necessary to achieve victory, and maintaining a humble position can lead to success. Excessive pride can bring disaster. The superior person is modest in speech but exceeds in actions. Strive to treat others as you wish to be treated, and you will discover that this is the most direct path to benevolence. Longing is the agony of proximity to the distant, and those who haven't experienced bitter things haven't earned the sweetness of life. Deception is a challenging endeavor, and one cannot think decently if unwilling to face uncomfortable truths. People are often aware of what they do and why, but they may not fully understand the consequences of their actions. Power is often accompanied by resistance. Militancy doesn't necessarily require sadness, even when combating abominable things. The sad truth is that much evil is perpetrated by those who never commit to being definitively good or evil. Forgiveness is the key to action and freedom. To love is to be vulnerable. Anything you love in your heart may be touched and possibly broken. If you wish to preserve it, you must be selective in sharing it, even withholding it from animals. Crying is a natural expression of emotion, but it is temporary. Eventually, you must decide how to move forward. It's a lesson learned that while those who discuss their miseries may hurt others, those who keep silence often hurt themselves more profoundly. A proud person tends to look down on others, and in doing so, they miss the potential for greatness in those around them. While spiteful words can hurt, silence can be even more damaging to the heart. An intelligent person often avoids giving a second chance in situations where trust is broken, love is undervalued, or time is squandered. These are considered irreplaceable currencies in the wealth of life. Pride finds pleasure not just in having something, but in having more of it than others, deriving a sense of superiority from comparison. 
True affluence lies in those who are content with what they have. To spare oneself from grief at any cost may require total detachment, but such detachment can come at the price of losing the ability to experience happiness. The primary task in life is seen as giving birth to oneself and becoming one's full potential. The most important outcome of a person's efforts is the development of their own personality. Life gains meaning through the individual's interpretation and manifestation of their innate power. Through personal experimentation, it's discovered that confidently pursuing one's dreams and living the imagined life can lead to unexpected success in everyday moments. The essence lies not in what one looks at, but in what one truly sees. Being excessively moral may deprive one of the richness of life, so it's suggested to aim for something beyond mere morality, striving to be good for a purpose. Life often gets frittered away in unnecessary details, and simplifying things is encouraged. Change is inherent in life, and it's never too late to abandon prejudices. The heart has its reasons that reason may not comprehend fully, and people often form beliefs based on attractiveness rather than proof. An intelligent person refrains from showing emotions in certain situations, such as facing ignorance, experiencing personal success, or enduring deep disappointment. There's an acknowledgement that people tend to admire what they don't fully understand. To cultivate a positive perception from others, it's advised not to speak poorly of oneself. Distraction, although consoling, can also be the greatest of miseries. Dreaming is seen as essential to grasping the meaning of life. Trying Those who are deliberate in making promises often prove to be the most faithful in fulfilling them. Although man was born free, he finds himself everywhere in chains. Those who consider themselves masters of others are often the greater slaves. Judging a person by their questions rather than their answers reveals their depth. Life is akin to a shipwreck, yet it is crucial to remember to sing in the lifeboats. Cherish those who seek the truth, but be cautious of those who claim to have found it. True knowledge of life comes to those who understand how to be content with simplicity. The pursuit of happiness is elusive. It is found not in constant searching, but in freeing oneself from the constraints of an unfree world. To be happy, one must not be overly concerned with others. In order to comprehend the world, it is essential to turn away from it occasionally. People rush to judgment to avoid being judged themselves. You can never experience everything, so grant poetic justice to your soul and simply experience yourself. Without work, life decays. But when work lacks purpose, life withers and dies. Starting with uncertainties leads to eventual certainties, while starting with certainties often ends in doubts. Hope is uplifting, but relying on it solely can lead to disappointment. For light to shine brightly, darkness must be present. Loving without wisdom is impossible. The loss incurred by not trying far outweighs the loss from not succeeding. We are like chameleons, taking our hue and moral character from those around us. No one's knowledge can surpass their experience. What worries you masters you. The most precious possession is power over oneself. Bad men need only the inaction of good men to achieve their ends. Seek happiness by limiting desires rather than endlessly attempting to satisfy them. True happiness lies in the ability to enjoy the present without anxious dependence on the future. Life is short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. 
A well-lived life, however, is long enough. Suffering before it is necessary is excessive. All cruelty stems from weakness. Often, we are more frightened than hurt, and our suffering is often a product of imagination rather than reality. Falling in love can happen when our imagination projects non-existent perfection onto another person. As the fantasy fades, so does love. The first step toward true understanding is self-awareness. A man who knows himself can step outside himself and observe his own reactions like an observer. Never complain about things within your power to change. Problems worthy of attacks prove their worth by hitting back. To suit one's temper to circumstances is excellence. Life's anxieties melt away when the mind is focused on the present. Cherish the power to shape oneself rather than being molded by external influences. Accepted. Only the person who attempts the absurd is capable of achieving the impossible. Dealing with one's own soul is often more challenging than anything else as it can be both a helpful ally and a formidable opponent. Women desire love not for their external qualities, but for being authentically themselves. Time is but the space between memories, and when we cease to perceive this space, time disappears. Love ceases to be a demon only when it ceases to be a god. Sharing our weaknesses and difficulties is often more nourishing to others than boasting about our qualities and successes. Many are skilled at talking about what they do, yet do little. It's those who quietly accomplish much that truly enrich a community. When we genuinely love and respect people, acknowledging their value, they can begin to emerge from behind the walls that protect them. People struggle to accept their own flaws unless they simultaneously feel loved, respected, and accepted by others. If the path before you is clear, you're probably on someone else's journey. Everything that irritates us about others can lead to a deeper understanding of ourselves. Thinking is difficult, which is why many people resort to judging. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness. Happiness gains its meaning through the balance with sadness. Difficulties are necessary for human health. Loneliness doesn't necessarily come from lack of people around. It often arises from an inability to communicate important thoughts or holding views that others find unacceptable. Life truly begins at 40. Until then, you are conducting research. The greatest problems of life are fundamentally insoluble. They cannot be solved, but only outgrown. Enduring the hardest trials becomes possible when one finds meaning in them. The challenge lies in creating that meaning. Don't cling to anyone who's leaving, as doing so may prevent you from meeting the one who's coming. Doubt isn't the opposite of faith. It's an element of faith. The first duty of love is to listen. The courage to be is the courage to accept oneself, even when feeling unacceptable. Health is a blessing that far outweighs all others in life. A truly healthy beggar can be happier than a sick king. Hope, in reality, is considered the worst of all evils as it prolongs the torments of man. No one can construct the bridge for you to cross the stream of life. That responsibility falls on yourself alone. Willpower is to the mind what a strong blind man is to a lame man who can see, carrying him on his shoulders. Sleep is the interest paid on the capital called in at death, and the more regularly and at a higher rate it is paid, the further the date of redemption is postponed. Steal your sensibilities to minimize the hurt in life. Spend your time improving yourself by delving into the writings of others, gaining easily what they have labored hard for. Be cautious about the company you keep, 
as it is human to imitate the habits of those you interact with, inadvertently adopting their interests, opinions, values, and ways of interpreting events. In old age, many regret not having conquered laziness earlier in life. When we engage in trivial conversation, we diminish ourselves, as our attention becomes consumed by trivialities. You become what you give your attention to. Thus, avoid indulging in insignificant matters. In moments of anger, refrain from both speech and action. The bravest sight is witnessing a great person grappling with adversity. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. By confining yourself to the present, you shape the quality of your mind, for your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. Avoid dreaming of what you do not possess. Instead, recognize and appreciate the blessings you currently have. Sometimes, yielding is necessary to achieve victory, and maintaining a humble position can lead to success. Excessive pride can bring disaster. The superior person is modest in speech, but exceeds in actions. Strive to treat others as you wish to be treated, and you will discover that this is the most direct path to benevolence. Longing is the agony of proximity to the distant, and those who haven't experienced bitter things haven't earned the sweetness of life. Deception is a challenging endeavor and one cannot think decently if unwilling to face uncomfortable truths. People are often aware of what they do and why, but they may not fully understand the consequences of their actions. Power is often accompanied by resistance. Militancy doesn't necessarily require sadness, even when combating abominable things. The sad truth is that much evil is perpetrated by those who never commit to being definitively good or evil. Forgiveness is the key to action and freedom. To love is to be vulnerable. Anything you love in your heart may be touched and possibly broken. If you wish to preserve it, you must be selective in sharing it, even withholding it from animals. Crying is a natural expression of emotion, but it is temporary. Eventually, you must decide how to move forward. It's a lesson learned that while those who discuss their miseries may hurt others, those who keep silence often hurt themselves more profoundly. A proud person tends to look down on others, and in doing so, they miss the potential for greatness in those around them. While spiteful words can hurt, silence can be even more damaging to the heart. An intelligent person often avoids giving a second chance in situations where trust is broken, love is undervalued, or time is squandered. These are considered irreplaceable currencies in the wealth of life. Pride finds pleasure not just in having something, but in having more of it than others deriving a sense of superiority from comparison. True affluence lies in those who are content with what they have. To spare oneself from grief at any cost may require total detachment, but such detachment can come at the price of losing the ability to experience happiness. The primary task in life is seen as giving birth to oneself and becoming one's full potential. The most important outcome of a person's efforts is the development of their own personality. Life gains meaning through the individual's interpretation and manifestation of their innate power. Through personal experimentation, it's discovered that confidently pursuing one's dreams and living the imagined life can lead to unexpected success in everyday moments. The essence lies not in what one looks at, but in what one truly sees. Being excessively moral may deprive one of the richness of life, so it's suggested to aim for something beyond mere morality, striving to be good for a purpose. 
Life often gets frittered away in unnecessary details, and simplifying things is encouraged. Change is inherent in life, and it's never too late to abandon prejudices. The heart has its reasons that reason may not comprehend fully, and people often form beliefs based on attractiveness rather than proof. An intelligent person refrains from showing emotions in certain situations, such as facing ignorance, experiencing personal success, or enduring deep disappointment. There's an acknowledgement that people tend to admire what they don't fully understand. To cultivate a positive perception from others, it's advised not to speak poorly of oneself. Distraction, although consoling, can also be the greatest of miseries. Dreaming is seen as essential to grasping the meaning of life.